we fo- do not follow faith, but analyze mm. the vipassana, mm-hmm. analytical meditation. Mm-hmm. Buddha himself, you see, uh, told us, oh, oh monks, uh, sort of a follower of Buddha, he said, he, he advised us, you should not accept my teaching out of faith, out of devotion, but rather thorough investigation mm. and experiment. So like Nagarjuna mm-hmm. uh, and the Buddha Palita, the Chandakirti, mm-hmm. These great master mm-hmm. scholar mm-hmm. of Nalanda, mm-hmm. they analyze Buddha's own word. Mm-hmm. When they find certain sort of uh, Buddha's word, mm-hmm. Buddha's teaching mm-hmm. uh, contradictory with reality, mm-hmm. then they reject. Mm-hmm. So we are student that tradition. Mm-hmm. Even Buddha's own word, we always. Uh, raise question: Why, 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 why? What's the proof? What's the basis? Reason. So our way of thinking, very scientific way, mm. analyze, analyze, not blind faith. Mm. That's the Indian tradition. Mm. Of course, I respect all religion. Wonderful, but India's, what is it? They Ancient thought, vipassana, mm-hmm. uh, shamatha, mm-hmm. uh, and with these sort of concept, and uh, three thousand years since mm-hmm. the ahimsa mm-hmm. concept of ahimsa, in order to carry uh, s- sincerely ahimsa, you must respect other. Mm-hmm. So karuna. Mm-hmm. That's Indian sort of tradition. Mm-hmm. So that I really feel a very relevant today's world. So many problems, so many killing. Even religion also causing for killing. Mm-hmm. So such period, India's concept of ahimsa is very relevant and very necessary. Mm-hmm. And ahimsa. Not just a blind faith through reasoning mm-hmm. like that. Thank you so much. <laughs>